Hello, welcome to the machine learning project video. In this video, we will train various regression models on the cell phone prices data, which we used in previous video. I won't include any data analysis application in this video. You can check the last video for data analysis applications. In this video, we will train machine learning models and evaluate their performances. We will define a new phone at the end of the video and we will try to predict its price with the models we trained. That was all for the introduction. See you in the coding part. Welcome to the coding part of the video. I will be muting my microphone when I'm typing code because my microphone takes my keyboard sound too much. I'm sorry for that. Here I imported some libraries and uploaded the data to the collab. Here you can see the first five entry of the data for having an idea about the dataset. We have technical features of cell phones and the price column. We will be training regression models in order to predict the price of the cell phone. I also set up the X and Y variables. We are going to take weight, resolution, PPI, CPU core, CPU frequency, internal memory, RAM, rear cam, front cam, battery and thickness as X and price as Y. We are going to start by splitting our data. We will divide our data into two and the parts are going to be train and test. This operation will be helpful on evaluating the performance of the model trained. We are going to predict the test set of Y with the test set of X and in this way we are going to have an idea about how our model performs on predicting unseen data. We will use the train test split from sklearn.model selection for this task. Let's see. Seems nice. We set four X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. We kept test size at 0.3, which means 30% of our data is going to be in test set. Now we're going to scale our data. We have X values in different ranges, so we will do a scaling operation here. I will use standard scaler from sklearn for this task. We will start by assigning it, and we will use fit transform on X train and X test. Also white train and white test can be scaled but I won't do that in this video. I'm sorry, I made a typo there. Seems nice. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to define a function which will return how our model performs on predicting unseen data. I will use mean absolute error and root mean squared error for this. I will firstly define the function and I will explain it line by line after running the code. How this function works is, we firstly imported mean absolute error and mean squared error from sklearn matrix. After that, we defined our model results function and we are passing predictions inside. We wrote two print lines in it. In mean squared error, we also used square root from numpy. We are taking the mean absolute error 
and root mean squared error from the values that were passed inside the function, which are the predictions from our train model, and y test, which is the values that we split in the train test split. Now we are ready to train our models. We will start with a basic one, linear regression. We imported linear regression from sklearn linear model and we assigned it to LR. We fitted our model using scaled X train and Y train. Now we are going to use our model on predicting the unseen data. We used our fitted model to predict the scaled X test and stored them inside the predictions LR. We passed the predicted values inside the model results function and we can see we have the performance metrics here. Mean absolute error on model is 154 and root mean squared error on model is 182. Now we are going to train a support vector meshes model. We will also use grid search here for hyperparameter tuning. I will talk about code in the training process. We imported SVR from sklearn.support vector machines and imported grid search from sklearn.model selection. We set parameter values in parameters grid SVR variable and fitted our model. At the end, we wanted to see the best performing parameters. Our parameters from hyperparameter tuning is 0 0.5 for C, 2 for degree, scale for gamma, and linear for kernel. Now we are going to store predictions in a variable and we will pass our predictions inside the function we created. Mean absolute error on model is 480, root mean squared error on model is 590. Now we are going to train a random forest model. We will do hyperparameter tuning again. I will talk about code in the training process once again. We imported random forest regressor. From sklearn.ensemble, we wrote the possible parameter values in a dictionary and fitted our model. At the end, we wanted to see the best performing parameters which we got from hyperparameter tuning. Our hyperparameters are bootstrap is true, max depth is 15, max features auto, and number of estimators 7. like this model is the best performing one we trained. Mean absolute error on model is 131 and root mean squared error on model is 172. Now we are going to predict a new font price with the best performing model. We will use random forest model since it was the best performing one. I'm going to create a numpy array by the means of all columns. For getting all the means, I will write a for loop. I will firstly write the loop and then we will talk about it.
I defined a variable as column iterate and set it as one. I said for index in x.columns, give me that columns mean with the column number. Now we are going to create a new font with these mean values. Let's predict the price of this with our model. Our predicted price is 4170. Let's make this look better. Okay, we can see the price prediction of the new phone is 4170. Seems nice. That was all for this project. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make good videos about data science. Have a great day.